when, when I moved here, I had lived just uh, just a, a little while outside Oklahoma City, and uh, I had played in that scene a little bit uh, with a band called the Saltines, and uh, we were just a really gnarly punk outfit, and uh, it was such a cool scene. It was, it was very indie, you know. It was, all kinds of, of bands playing there on any given night. And it, it was cool. It was a little cutthroat sometimes, but it was really, really cool. And uh, when I moved here, uh, the scene was uh, was very seen. <laughs> and uh, so I kind of uh, I shunned it big time. I didn't want to have any anything to do with it. And uh, then I uh, I sort of realized that there are no musicians outside of it <laughs> around here. And uh, once I you know, unplugged my ears and uh, actually you know, gave it a chance, I fell in love with it. I like to party, and uh, God bless America, really. We play Stuff that pretty much sounds like a 747 plane mixed with a uh, atom bomb hitting Hiroshima. Very, very heavy music. Grant mm, is okay. Uh, kind of blows balls, really. Uh, it's kind of a bow dunk place, but some pretty good bands that came out of here, you know, Flavor Blue. Rosalind, uh, Super Duty, R.I.P., you know, uh, Hera, let's forget about that. Dude, there's like garlic salt on the floor. I don't want to smell like a <laughs> raging steak or anything, you know. But, I think overall, it's got a decent scene, good turnouts here, and Durant has Taco Casa. up here from Durant, Oklahoma, where I graduated high school, and uh, I uh, was looking for a good next step to further my music career, and Norman seemed to be a good next step from, from Durant, because it's a college town, and, and I had a lot of friends going to OU anyway, so I figured it'd be a good place to go. Being a musician in Durant was, uh, it, it wasn't <laughs> the best, just because, I mean, it's a college town too. Uh, just like Norman, but it's it, it's really there's no way you could like progr progress like you would want to in the music field or in the music industry because there's just there's just not enough people and there's not enough places to play. I mean, there's some places around Durant that are fun to play at, but as far as building a foundation for musical success, Durant is it just wasn't the place to be. Probably um, acoustic folk music. It's some of my main influences are like uh, Brandy Carlile. Damien Rice has had a huge uh, influence on my music. So it's real, just soft, um, real emotion-driven um, melodic music. And um, I play mostly at small venues. too small, so we have a few opportunities to play music. Um, one is the local coffee shop, but as far as opportunities for growth as a musician, there's really not a whole lot. You have to go to Dallas or something like that, but it's um, it's a great place. People are real open to all styles of music around here, I've found. Yeah, 
it's it is it is every bit as difficult as everyone says it is. Um, hands down, it's not really an uphill battle. It's like a climb. It's like a ninety degree. It's sometimes less than like sometimes you're just hanging. Like it's like less than ninety degrees. You know, you're like. Kind of, Singing the blues. Don't forget about me, baby. Keep me in your head. I can spend a life in your Murphy bed. Stay in the There's so many people doing it. There's so many websites. Everyone's got a MySpace page. Everyone's touring. Everyone's blasting everyone. I've got this show here. I've got that show there. It's, to be honest, it's always been the way. People have always hustled, but you can get to people so easily now that people's like spam guard for music is so high. I think moving to like a big hub like LA or New York or whatever, you learn pretty quick how, or like Nashville, you know, like you learn pretty quick, very quickly how, you know, how this game works. My mother used to always ask me like, what's your backup plan? The way mothers do. And I always would say, I don't have one. She's like, well, Austin, you have to have a backup plan. And they're like, okay, but I don't have a backup plan, so there's nothing I can do. <laughs> nothing I can do. Because it's like, what do you say? You know what I mean? What do you say, like, okay, mom, if I fail at the only thing that I want to do in life, um, here's my plan. Like, I, you can't put energy really in that direction, I don't think. And beyond that, like, what do you say? Like, you're like, I'm committed to writing music. I love music. I'm passionate about music. All I want to do is play. All I want to do is write. All I want to do is that. But if that doesn't work out, I think going into a restaurant would be great. Like, that doesn't, it doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't really make sense that you're like, you're going to throw yourself into this thing and in the back of your mind be like, although there's always architecture school. The rest just make a man. If I get to Ohio, hope I see you smile again. So we want to go as far as we can go, you know? If that's to the top, it's to the top. If that's almost there, it's almost there. I guess we'll find out. Uh, we want to get signed eventually, but if that doesn't happen, then hopefully we'll hit the road and meet a bunch of cool people, play some cool shows, really. Race some hell while we can. Popularity has never really been the main goal of my music. Um, really, it, it was more for myself. Like I said, it was my outlet. It always has been. It probably always will be. And um, well, I, I mean, I just like to say that I I was created to create. As far as a goal, I just I suppose my goal would be I just want to make a living off of it. I just want to make enough money to survive. Just by money. All, all I ask is to break even with that, you know. Just I wanna, I'd like to make enough money to keep doing it, basically. That, that would be awesome. Music is is beauty. Otherworldly. It's amazing. Pissed off giraffe. I will be useless as I try. Thank you.